So I wanted to do a quick follow-up video on this Icom rig here. It's the Icom 775 DSP. This would be a, kind of a supplement to the previous video that I did on this. Now, the issue I'm having with this radio is the antenna tuner. And what it turns up being is that this integrated circuit right here, this is a, just a, a controller chip. It's a dry, actually more of a driver chip that drives all the relays that add or subtract capacitance for the antenna tuner. And it's basically just an eight channel switch. And it's available in you know two different uh, packages, a dual in line 18 or an SOP 18. Well, I wasn't able to find any of these in stock on Mouser or <clears throat> excuse me, or DigiKey. But I was able to find them on eBay, and uh, so I bought five of them from the seller. Unfortunately, uh, they're coming from China, so it's probably going to be a while before they get here. So, in the meantime, what I'm going to do is open up the radio and replace the entire antenna tuner unit with this one I just received today. And hopefully this will solve that issue and so in the interim while i'm waiting for that component i'll just yank that old one out and put it on the shelf to be fixed so let's uh, get this thing open and uh, see what we can do with it all right all in its magnificence we had to pull both tops and bottom covers off because this cable here sneaks around and goes through the bottom and Comes out right here. Looks right under the IF board. Yeah, you can see all the empty slots. There's there's three empty slots in the uh, the nine megahertz section and two empty slots in the four hundred fifty five section. And it has the stock crystal. There's no high stability option. That's where that one goes right there. It replaces the crystal. You put that in there, and uh, you put your uh, ESC controlled to the center and adjust that for 60 megahertz or you can hook the radio up and zero beat it to WWV So yeah, let me uh, plug that connector and uh, There are Four screws holding this in there's There's one down in here and there's three on the back. So let me uh, Get that bad boy out of there well, as you can see, it's all ready to go in. Now, this is apparently the serial number of the transceiver that it came out of. And this one here is a fairly late production version. This one's a 2689. That one's fairly uh, fairly late production, but yeah, that's what it looks like uh, without the tuner. But yeah, it's nicely built. I mean, I, li I like this modular uh, construction. I mean, the PA unit goes bad yank it out. Power supply goes bad, yank it out. There's only a few screws holding these things in, and there's just a few interconnecting cables and ribbons. Yeah, that, uh, that's nice construction. That's <laughs> really easy to work on. So we will uh, put this sucker in there, and uh, it's only held in by three screws. Well, there's actually four screws, excuse me. Yeah, here's the other one. There's the other one. It had a little piece of tape on it to hold it on to the end of the screwdriver because it goes all the way down in here and it's hard to get to with a short screwdriver so you have to use a long one like like that one there well let me uh pop this sucker in and we'll power it up and <laughs> see if it even works all righty all installed ready to go there top we're good to go there all fished in i'll uh i'll put some filament tape down on these so they're held in place so I'll put the uh, the bottom cover on so I can set it down and uh, power it up and transmit into a demi load and see what happens all right it's all hooked up the dummy load let's turn it on there we are Okay, let's see, let's go to, yeah, that, that's a new noise, that's a new relay click. So, let's see if it'll tune on 15 meters. Let's go to SWR here. 
Come on. No. What the hell? Interesting. It still doesn't tune. Why? Huh. Let's try uh, 160. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it's not even finding anything there. Well, I guess I bought a piece of crap, maybe. Well, we'll have to, uh, let's hook the scope up and see if I can, uh, might have to go through the uh, com the complete reset of the tuner and have it uh, memorize all the voltages for uh, for a flat match. So let's, I guess let's try that next. All right, take two. I had to do the CPU reset of the antenna tuner. Now that is actually laid out in the service manual and it's it could, you have to do a few steps you have to add a jumper and there's a switch where is it right there you got to turn it to or switch it to the set position short this little jumper to ground and then when you turn the radio on you hold down the the enter key the noise blanker key and the tuner key and the unit will power up, and it will uh, put a reset indication up on the display. And then what you do is you leave your load attached, and it'll say uh, ref set, I think is what it comes up to. And then it'll say push. And then what you do is you push the tuner button, like you were going to tune the antenna, and it'll go to every start at the basement. It'll start at 160 meters and go all the way to the top, and memorize the new voltage so that's what I had to do and then I just went through every band on the load and now it tunes everywhere so awesome so I guess that uh, that is actually a, a, a successful repair <laughs> not quite the repair I originally wanted to do which was uh, replacing that little teeny chip there this one here but I got those coming and I'll work on the other tuner when those when those show up let me get this uh, all patched back up put it back over there and fill that empty hole over there by the other 775 and uh we'll get her on the air all right and there we go we're on 10 meters we're on 75 meters yeah well that makes me feel a lot better i got that thing going so now I just need to wait for uh, the chips to show up. So hopefully they ought to show up in a couple of weeks. They got to run the kind of the uh, slow boat from China. But anyhow, yeah, I've been kind of working on my ham shack here. I, uh, I picked up a, a Heil uh, ICM microphone with the, with the boom and the shock mount. And Gonna replace this Heil here. This is one of their older ones. This is an old HM10 that I modified to work with the uh, with the other ICOM here. But uh, yeah, I'm just slowly working on my shack here. I got a couple of purchases I'm gonna do. I'm gonna replace uh, that MFJ antenna tuner. Uh, this uh, Palstar is gonna take its place, and I'm gonna put a uh, 4 ATK in its place. Some that'll handle a little. Uh, a little more power on 160 that, that well that tuner does really good on all bands but it comes up a little short on 160 so anyhow guys yeah uh thanks for uh, putting up with my crap <laughs> anyway yeah i'm glad that i got this thing working that was uh that's a nice relief knowing that that's done so all i got to do now is just basically get all the filters and high stability options that are all in this 
and duplicated there, so they have two identical transceivers. So anyway, guys, uh, uh, I guess this is all for now, so have a good day, and uh, i got to just clean up my work area over there and get everything back the way it was. And we'll uh, get back to making some more videos, so have a good one, guys, and uh, thanks for watching.